Hello again, and welcome to the Rutland Studio. Today we're going to explain about how to fit a TS9205 door closer. We've made the instructions very simple and clear and easy to read. We're going to explain about the fitting instructions, the closing valve, the latching valve, the back check valve and the delayed action valve. Also on the end of the TS9205 is a power adjustment valve to overcome tricky latches or stiff door, door closing mechanisms. All there to make it simple and quick and easy for you. Let's take a look. Here we have a floor and frame set. This is specially made to make it simple and easy for you to understand. First of all, you take the fitting instructions you find them inside the door closer body box. Door closer body, like so. Inside there we have two fitting instructions. One is for the push side and one is the pull side. Today we're going to choose the pull side. Using the standard arm fitting instructions, or figure one fitting instructions, this is the side, the pull side, where the pull handle is. Pull it towards you. Line up the red line between the door and the frame. Fix it with some low tack adhesive so as not to damage the door or frame. Keep it in line with the centre of the hinge too. Tuck it round the hinge and fix it on. The instruction is a full size fitting template. Starting with item number one, you'll find how to fix in line with the door and frame. Number two, how to fix the body and the second part of the arm. Number three, how to fix the forearm and connect them together. And number four shows you how to adjust the valves. Simple, quick and easy. Pilot drill, fixing positions. Drill the frame. And then put the template just a little lower on the door, keeping it ready and available just underneath where the door closes is going to be fitted. This helps you to get everything the right way around. Take the body out of the box and remove the trim plate. Fix the body, as per the instruction shows, on the door. All the fixings for a wood door or a metal door are provided in the pack. Make sure it's firmly fixed and you're now ready to fix the second part of the arm. Out of its package and remove, remove the two Allen keys to separate the two parts of the arm. You'll notice on the secondary arm that the shoe is not symmetrical. This is clearly indicated on the fitting instructions which way round it should go. Fix that to the door frame. Make 
Que yo es ni. En parallel. The forearm fixes very simply onto the pinion. You need the special Loctite ball with the Starlock washer. Fix it on nice and firm. When you're ready, open the door slightly and line up the two parts of the arm. Connect them together and fix with the little balls you took out earlier. It's very important when you fix the arm on that you adjust it to 90 degrees. That is, the forearm should be 90 degrees with the door frame or architrave and tighten accordingly. Double check you've got it nice and adjust if needed. When you're happy, it's square with the door frame. Tighten the second lock nut. When you've got everything fixed, straight from the package, the door closer will work. Check the speed and latch in action. That was very fast. The first valve to adjust is the closing speed. You can turn it clockwise to slow it down or anti-clockwise to speed it up. The main speed we recommend 5 seconds from open at 90 to its closed position. The next valve to do is a latching valve. This is on the end. You can turn it clockwise to slow it down and anti-clockwise to speed it up. That is closing nicely but it could be slightly better so it doesn't make a noise. Clockwise a tiny little more to slow it down. There's no reason why that door should bang ever. The high quality of engineering. The easy to adjust valves from the front. Make this door closer very simple, fast and easy to fit. Just in a minute or two and it's adjusted, shutting nicely. If you require a delayed action on the door set, this valve is a DA valve, the delayed action valve. Simply turn it 90 degrees clockwise to increase the delay. You can then check the door, see if it's the right length of time for delay or adjust it accordingly. That can be increased. The delay action valve works from fully open 
to approximately 75 degrees closed. After that point, the normal valve, closing valve and the latching valve take over. This always creeps like this, slowly. That is normal, but giving time for the elderly or infirm. Then the door will close in its normal. If you wish to use the back check valve, this is the valve here. It says BC on the instruction there. Very simply, turn it clockwise to increase the back check or anti-clockwise to decrease it. The back check comes into its own when there's a lot of people come running through at a, at a very fast pace, lots of people or even if it's just one person coming through it stops it from banging against the wall or screen that might be behind it. Then it returns back on its normal valves to its closed position. When you're confident you've got the door working nice and smoothly from fully open to closing at the speed and time delay if required or back check valve used if required then you're ready to put the trim plate back on. Trim plate slides in very simply from one end and the cap on the bottom nice finished and ready to go. Alternatively if you prefer cover move the cap take out click slide it into place. Simple and quick as that. There's a fixing in the top which can be done Fixed on for security. This is recommended to stop it being taken off and adjusted. And you're ready to go. One finished door closer. The TS905 door closer. Fitted simply, easily, and quickly. Guaranteed for 35 years. And thank you for watching. How to fit the TS 9205.